We are making our way across Ireland to get back to the ferry port from the coastal route called the Wild Atlantic Way. We've already visited Loop Head, the Cliffs of Moher, the Burn and Carlmore Abbey. This time we visit Kilkenny where we have a full Irish breakfast. I've got the big one. Explore the castle and climb an 800 year old tower. What a view. And then move on to Hook Lighthouse. Good morning everybody, it's Thursday and we are in Kilkenny on our way back down to the ferry on, on, and home. Now, uh, but today we're going to stay here for the day, we're not moving on just yet, uh, but today we're, it's still the morning, it's about 9.30 I think, and we are going, first of all we're going to go to and check out uh, an information centre. In the previous video I said that I've been seeking out and craving a full Irish breakfast. Mm, you know, the, grease, the greasy spoon traditional full Irish breakfast. And uh, did some research and there is a, well there's many restaurants, many pubs that can do this kind of thing, but this one particular one sounds pretty good. It's called the Fig Tree Restaurant, I think it was, and it's got some good ratings. And that's where we're on, uh, going now. It's in the same, on the same street as the Tourist Information Centre. But, uh, and then we'll have a, a wander around and uh, check out, uh, well, there's a castle just over there and a few other things, which at the moment we don't know about because we need to go to the Tourist Information Centre. Let's right. move on. Let's go and get some breakfast because I am Hank Marvin. After a chat and some advice from the nice lady in the Tourist Information Centre, we headed across a road to the Fig Tree Restaurant for some nosh. Well, we've arrived in the Fig Tree restaurant and we're just about to tuck in to our full Irish breakfast. I've got the big one and Zoe's got the mini one. <laughs> A bit skimpy on the, um, the waffles, mine, but yeah. And we've gone to the Tourist Information Centre and we got ourselves a map and all the hot spots that we should go and investigate. So, that's breakfast sorted out. Now we're heading to the castle and I think weather-wise we have chosen the best day. Wow, look at that. What an amazing entrance. <laughs> so that's the entrance to the castle. Now it's 12 euros each for the tour, the guided tour, or it's 8 euros if you just want to wander around on your own. Now we've booked to go on the guided tour so let's go. So the castle is about 800 years old. This is a state dining room, one of two dining rooms in the castle. And this was for use for everyday use. First thing that catches your eye when you enter the entrance hall is this granite table. It actually has five legs because it's so heavy. And then what they would use this for is for funerals and actually just lay the body on the table. The second thing that dominates this room are these huge prehistoric Irish elk antlers. But this is the second pair we've seen in Ireland on this holiday, isn't it? Was it? Where was the first one? Care, Care Castle. This is the ante room which goes into the library. Now this is one of my favorite rooms. Mm -hmm. Each of these rooms are covered in the same French silk, which gives each one the same golden hue, which I find quite amazing. Now, there was a story about the carpet, the original carpet mm. they note they found in a photograph, and then they come across the original receipt from hundreds of years ago, contacted the original company in Axminster, and they were able to recreate the carpet for them. Imagine holding a receipt for hundreds of years. Mm, whereas we just throw them away after a week. Yeah, or even that. From one of the windows you get this great view of the garden and the surrounding buildings, including St Mary's Cathedral on the left and St Canis Cathedral and Round Tower on the right, which I climbed later on. This would have been the ladies' bedroom. Such a small bed as well though, look at that. And this is the blue bedroom, which the men would sleep in. It's called the blue bedroom because of the wallpaper. And this is an extremely large, almost bath-like toilet built for the King of England when he visited. And this is the game room, but I, I can't see the Xbox or PlayStation there. And at the bottom of the stairs, turning the corner, you enter the amazing picture gallery. 
with its marble fireplace. Well, we've just finished our tour of Kilkenny Castle. Uh, very interesting. In fact, it lasted about 50 minutes. And we ended up in the picture gallery. Now, it's called that, of course, because there's tons of pictures and portraits on the walls. But what I find intriguing is the actual ceiling. You can see the beams of the ceiling, but between the beams is a painting. And holding up the ceiling are these wooden gargoyles, which are also painted. Now, Kilkenny Castle is a bit of a weird shape compared to other castles because it's U shape. You see these two towers in front of us? Well, in between those was a wall with the entrance, but um, of course, old Oliver Cromwell come along with his armies and he knocked the wall down. So now it's in the shape of a U rather than a square, giving it an open plan feel. Next on our trip is St. Canis Cathedral and its round tower. You're able to climb that and we've been told that rather than call them steps, it's more like a ladder mm. climbing that. So um, we're going to give it a go, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have a camera on Zoe's face at the time. She looked a bit startled. <laughs> Horrified, more to the point. Well, you can actually see people right at the top there. That is where I'm going to be going, because I'm going to climb the tower now, Zoe doesn't fancy it, so I'm going up on my own. Now, there is a bit of a wait, as you could imagine. There's probably only one way going up, and when you get to the top, you just, you know, so there's no, it's no crossing on the stairs, as they say, I guess. Now, the pricing is a bit confusing. So it's six euros to enter the cathedral, 550 to do the tower, uh, but a combination of 10 euros if you fancy doing both. But since we've been cathedraled and castled out this last two weeks, we've decided to skip the cathedral, it looks very nice inside by the way, uh, and just do the tower. Right, here we go. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold the camera all the way up. But that we'll find out. Oh my goodness. Alright. It's getting narrower. Yeah. It's getting narrower. They're getting shallower, aren't they, these steps? Oh. Get, get a brick wall. Yeah, you got a brick wall there. Watch out for the It's getting to be a bit a lot more like a ladder now. Oh, don't forget, we've got to come back down yet. <laughs> it's not helter-skelter. Ow! Can't stand up straight. There's me standing up oh straight. The next part is a rocky climb. <laughs> yeah! Whew! We made it. There she is down there. Whew. Looking down on the cathedral. What a view. Apparently it's the highest building in, well, the highest elevation that you can get in Kilkenny. That building over there, in the other cathedral, St. Mary's Cathedral, it does seem to be higher, but I'm sure you can't actually climb to the very top like you can with this tower. There's only five of us up here and it feels very cramped. They're the steps we just climbed up, so watch we don't step on that as we look over this side. I'm so scared of dropping my camera. <laughs> oh, there's a the castle. 
Yeah, and there's the St Mary's Cathedral. Right, I've got to go back down there. And uh, it's not looking good, to be quite honest. Yeah, look at that. That looks steep. That is steep. Right, we're going to have to go backwards. I can see the exit. There we are. It's the ground. It's the ground. 121 steps. I knew I didn't have to count them. Right, here's Zoe. So how did you find that? Well, it's a, it's a, a long walk up. But so is uh, it just what a land like, um, I imagine, like a ladder? Or well, it's it like it a step ladder, and then there's a platform. You go around the other side, and there's another step ladder, oh, platform. Okay around the other side so it's like a okay so it's not it's, all, it's so not, people can go past you and it's things. not like a uh lighthouse or a helter skelter and you so there you go that was fun it is now a friday in the afternoon actually it's about 5 30 and uh, the sun is going down now this morning we had a bit of a relaxing time in Kilkenny mm. and now we've made our way down to l the Hook Lighthouse, which is behind me, the oldest working lighthouse in Europe, I think. I might be... Yes, I think I read that. Uh, we've been here before, l the first time we came mm. uh, to Ireland and uh, we stayed the night just outside of it. However, you can't stay there anymore. They've got no parking and no overnight signs uh, all the way along the front there. Uh, so we've managed to uh, park up right, well, a bit further away actually, and uh, without any signs. And it looks like no one's going to bother us there. We hope. We hope. <laughs> but tomorrow, mm. around about this time tomorrow, we got to catch our ferry back to Old Blighty, and then back home. Hmm. It's gone very quick, hasn't it? It's, it has really zoomed by. These last few days have, I suppose. Yeah, well, the whole week. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, well, well, where are we going next? Well, you'll have to find out, just like us, really. <laughs> we don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday morning, it is 10 o'clock, and we are booked ourselves on a tour of this lighthouse, Look, Hook Lighthouse. Now we've got a few uh, hours before our ferry, we need to catch that back to uh, Old Blighty. Sure. But yeah, but we thought we'd uh, partake in a bit of um, education kind of thing, you know, and uh, get some of those cobwebs blown out of our uh, hair and whatnot. There's Herman all the way over there, look. Well, we are now at the top of Hook Lighthouse, and I just want to say what that that tour yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. I didn't do much filming simply because You're I was so intrigued about what he was saying. Mm. If you ever come to Ireland and you have a time to visit the uh, Hook Lighthouse, definitely do the tour. Mm. The guy's and name. Ask for John. Yeah, ask for John. When's John going to be doing it? Um, <laughs> Very amazing passionate. really very yeah that was a good word very passionate 12 euros each plenty of parking here yeah but you can't stay the night in your motorhome <laughs> but now yeah excellent 800 years old the oldest working lighthouse in the world mm. yesterday i thought it was at europe but it's the world yes it was um powered by coal by monks 1500 years ago and they would get their coal from wales yeah so we were all the way up there and you can only go as far as this first level here. This is out of bounds here. It's fully automated, so you don't need to go up there. If you have any great ideas of where we should go next, then put them in a little comment in the doobly-doo. Until next time, thank you very much for bon watching. Bon voyage. Bon voyage and bye-bye. Ta-da. See you soon. Ciao. Wiedersehen. And don't forget to watch this video here. To, like my face. Yes, that will tell, that will show you our previous holiday here in Ireland, where we did Ooh. the Wild Wild Atlantic Way. Then, see you, see you then. Bye. Bye.